so now we're going to build the centrifugal force station. And first we're going to need a base plate and we're going to need two large frames. So there's going to be five holes in between them. So count one, two, three, four, five, and then add the other large frame. And we're going to use one long axle. You're going to put the stop on this side and then send it in, leaving two holes from the top. Then you're going to add a medium gear, and then it's going to come out the other side. And where it comes out, you can add the crank like this. Okay, then you're going to stick four anchor pins on the corners up here so that you can stick the short frames on them. But first we're going to have to get the short frames ready. So stick two anchor pins somewhere in one of the short frames, not on the corners. Then you can stick these two together this, take a long rod, you have the stop on the bottom, you're going to stick a small gear at the very end of it, and then leaving four holes on the end in the fifth hole, so one, two, three, four, five, you're going to stick the long axle inside, and then you're going to attach these two to these two, and so now the small gear meshes with the medium gear, like that. So you can add a washer and an axle stop to the end of this so that it'll stay, and then you can add a medium sprocket wheel to the top of this. So now let's put this aside and work on the second part that's underneath. In the first picture, you're going to need one long rod and you're going to need two short rods. So the long rod, the side that's facing up is the side that has one hole closest to the end. You see how on this side the first hole is a little far from the end, so you want this side facing up. And you're going to stick it on top of a short rod. You're going to count one, two, three, four, and then on the fifth hole, you're going to stick a joint pin into the short rod, which you're going to stick into the second hole on the long rod. So it looks like this. Then you're going to count two more holes, and in the back of the short rod, you're going to stick a shaft plug, and then you're going to stick a big gear right here. And then you're going to pretty much do the same thing on the other side, but this time the short rod is going to be on top. So you're going to count five, one, two, three, four, five, stick it in. Stick that into the last hole on the long rod. Then you're going to count two more holes, stick a shaft plug on top, and then a big gear. So it looks like this. So these two guys can move, and these wheels can move. And then on the bottom right here, you're going to stick two more shaft plugs. You're going to find the middle hole. You're going to put shaft plugs on either side, on the holes on either side of it. On both sides of it, rather. Okay, so now we're going to put these two together. But first we need to attach one last short rod to the top. So you're going to stick two shaft pins uh, in the top holes of the short rods and then you're going to stick a short rod, stick them into the last holes of the short rod so that it can still move. Take the medium sprocket wheel off of here just so we can stick it where it should go on here because it goes in a very precise place. The, the little teeth should fit right on the shaft plugs and it should be centered. So now that it's like that, we can stick this setup on top of here and it should fit nice and snugly. This is meshing with this and 
everything else is free. So now you can use this to turn it around. And you can see the centrifugal force because the wheels are turning outward and upward because this is spinning. So that's your centrifugal force station.